overtime and special allowances, example one. Now this is quite a heavy question, there's a lot in it, but it's going to explain all the different concepts you need to know and we'll break it down nicely for you. Now it says Grant works as a bricklayer and is paid a normal rate of $25 an hour. So let's write all these write little notes about this first of all. So he gets a normal rate of $25 an hour. That's his normal pay. He gets time and a half rates on weekends. So on weekends, he gets time and a half, which means 25 times 1.5. That's how you do time and a half. So on weekends, he'll get $37.50 an hour. It's really good if you can find all the different hourly rates. And he gets double time rates on public holidays. So on public holes, he gets 25 times 2 for double time, or $50 an hour. That's some good pay there. He also gets an extra $2.10 an hour when he works in the rain. So he gets an extra $2.10 an hour in rain. That's right. Little notes about this down. For one, for one, for one week, he worked the following hours. So he worked eight hours every day from Monday to Friday, three hours on Saturday. Monday was a public holiday, and it rained for a total of five hours this week. How much will he get paid? So there's a lot of information there. But what we're going to do is he worked eight hours every day from Monday to Friday. So let's focus on Monday because Monday was a public holiday. So on Monday he got $50 an hour and he worked for 8 hours. So 50 times 8 is $400. That's what he got on Monday. Sometimes it's good to do it day by day. Tuesday he worked 8 hours as well. And on Tuesday he only got $25 an hour. So Tuesday he got 200, uh, which means that Wednesday he got $200, um, Thursday he got $200, and Friday will come up here. Friday he got $200 because during the week he was working eight hours a day, and he got the same amount of pay each time. All right, now let's look at Saturday. Uh, for Saturday, he worked three hours, and it says that on weekends he gets time and a half. So he actually gets $37.50 per hour on a Saturday. Let's work that out, 37.50 times three. So he got $112.50 on the Saturday. All right. We've just about done everything, so we've done Monday to Friday, we've done the three hours on Saturday, we included Monday as a public holiday. Uh, it also says he it rained for five hours this week. So in terms of the rain, um, he gets an extra $2.10 per hour, and he worked in the rain for five hours. That will come out to $10.50, I believe. I'm going to double check. Yeah, $10.50 $10 for the rain. Okay. How much will he get paid? So his total wage is 400 on the Monday plus um, four lots of 200. So when he worked from Tuesday to Friday, that was four days, he got $200 each day. Plus he got $112.50 on the Saturday, plus he got $10.50 for the rain. When we add all these up together, we get plus one thousand three hundred and twenty three dollars.